how to find the radius and the problem at the bottom down here. So here's the scenario. And uh, to get here, I want to show you what I have to do to know what to do in that problem. First of all, I'm going to back to, this is the tangent. This is the secant, or pardon me, the tangent and the chord. So it's called the tangent chord theorem. We want to show that the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the inscribed angle, which is on the circle. Well, first thing I have to know is that the center angle, which is a sector angle, is always twice the size of the inscribed angle. This is the center of the circle, so this triangle is isosceles. That means the base angles are equal. So that means that 2x and 2b is a circle as a is a triangle, so it's 180. That means x plus b is 90 because I divided by 2. But we also know that the radius is at right angles to the tangent line. Therefore, x plus a is also 90. And therefore, by the axiom of equality, a equals b. And therefore, the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the inscribed angle. I need that idea to go to here. So, this is the chord, this is the tangent. The angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the inscribed angle over here. So now it's also called x. This is the common angle over here. So our job is to show that at squared is equal to mt times te. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to look at math over here, m, a, t. m in the big triangle is equal to a in the small triangle. m in the big triangle is equal to a in the small triangle. t belongs to the big triangle and belongs to the small triangle. So in the small triangle, I used A, I used T, but I didn't use E. So the big triangle is similar to the little triangle by angle-angle similarity. And therefore, MA is to AE as AT is to ET as MT is to AT. And here we see that AT squared is equal to MT and ET. This cross gives me this. I need this to do this question. So here is the tangent. So AT squared is equal to MT times TE. Okay? See that I knew that. I could just do this problem by myself. But I wanted you to know how I got there. Some kids in grade uh, 8 asked me, how can you say that? Show, show me why that works. I said, okay, I'll show you how it works. Next problem here, so what's AT? AT is 40 squared. MT, which is R plus R, which is 2R. Okay, plus 32, okay. That's MT, which is this plus this, times ET, which is 32. So now this is 40 times 40, which is 1,600. 32 times 2R is 64R. And 32 times 32 is 1024. I always know that because when I teach grade 8, I have to memorize the numbers in the, on the calendar up to 26, but I always, always remember 32 squared. So here's 64R transpose, so it's going to be 1600 
minus 1024, okay, 64R. So I do this on the four and six is 10, carry one. Three and seven is 10, carry one. And one and five is six. So 576 is 24 times 24. That's what I teach them to know their square numbers at the 26 equals 64R. And 64 is the same as eight times eight. Now eight goes into 24 three times. Eight goes into four three times. This cancels this, so therefore R is three times three. Now that is a wonderful little problem. Take it from the top, follow it to the bottom.